Kaiapoi is the river town. It's on the sign as you drive into town. It gets a huge amount of uh, recreational use uh, by the locals and probably from people out of town as well. I see people rowing, paddling, even motorboats, lots of fishing on the river. It's also historically important as a connection to the rest of the country and, and even internationally. There are approximately 300 plants planted in the riverbed and we selected this site because we were above the salt wedge. The species that we've selected are all uh, rhizomatous species and what that basically means is that they'll spread out from where we plant through stems creeping through the soil. So we have put a single plant like the ropor, it can spread out to cover several hundred metres. The three levels of planting, we've got the, the lowest which is just above low tide, mid tide and then high tide. The idea behind that was to ascertain where the optimal place to plant would be. Currently most of the plants on all three rows have survived very well so they're all probably quite adequate for using in this situation. We put wire cages over the top of all of the ropor plants because ducks seem to quite like them when they come out of a nursery. These plants will grow out into water that's up to about 500 or half a metre deep so we can expect plants to push out past the low tide mark and not much further than that. That's closing up the channel a little bit and constricting that flow. So I would expect that in 10 years, the rope ore that we've planted will have expanded out to that extent, out beyond the low tide mark into the channel, into the flow of the river, and probably no, no further than that because as the velocity of the water increases, it'll prevent it getting much further.